Okay, so rebooting Scream. Let's talk about it. Hello and welcome to the Cavern of Terror. <laughs> Hey guys, and welcome back to the Cavern of Terror. Wow, you're getting a second video. I'm back in the swing of things. And we're back in the swing of topic videos. Apparently, there's been some rumblings about Blumhouse wanting to bring back the Scream series to reboot it. I'll tell you about the article really quickly because there really isn't much to say there. Blum, Jason Blum said that Yes, they would like to do something with it, but there's nothing in the cards right now, but they would definitely like to do something. So that means they do want to do something, but they don't have anything in mind right now. For returning subscribers, you guys know I'm a huge Scream fan. Ghostface is one of my top slasher icons. I reviewed all four of the original movies, I've done a ranking on the Scream series, and I've done a commentary on the first film. I have a whole bunch of Ghostface stuff. I'm a huge Ghostface fan, have a Ghostface tattoo on my leg. If you're new to the Cavern of Terror, I'll just keep it really short for you. I like the Scream series. I like 1, 2, 3, and 4. I didn't really get into the television series because it really wasn't for me. Yeah, as a fan of the original series, I couldn't get into the television show. Although, I did really like the first episode, and I can respect the fact that they wanted to do something different. And maybe someday I'll talk about the two seasons of the television series, but right now this is about the reboot talk. The big question is, do I think it's time for a Scream 5, continuation of Scream 4, or a remake of the original movie? Well, kind of. Yeah, I kind of do think it's time to bring Scream back, because the television series has been off the air for a while, season 3 has been up in the air for god knows how long, and I don't think we're ever going to get season 3, because apparently it's been through development hell since they cancelled season 2 with the original um, lore, the original you know timeline of those first two seasons. So the chances of getting season 3 of Scream the series I think are really fucking slim. As for me, I think there's a couple different ways that you can go about doing a Scream remake or a fifth Scream movie. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to talk about what I think they should do if they're going to remake that 1996 classic. For me, I think that they should modernize it in a way where we're still paying tribute to the 1996 Scream by being very similar, not shot by shot, but still kind of poking fun of those movies that Scream was making fun of. But this time, we're making fun of the 1990s teen slashers. So we make fun of the fact that there's no nudity in there, but of course, putting it in, making fun of the fact that there aren't that great kills in 90s movies, unless you count like Candyman and uh, some of the more uh, bloody or brutal movies of the early 90s. So we add those br brutal kills. We bring in, you know, that, that nudity that we want to see. And let's bring in a little bit more atmosphere. There really wasn't a lot of atmosphere in the first four screen movies. And I think a director like Adam Weingard would be perfect to play on that. He has a dark sense of humor. He has some very brutal, bloody movies. And he can really bring the atmosphere. If you don't believe me, check out The Guest or Your Next. These movies are perfect examples of what I just said. I think Adam Weingard and his writing partner Simon Barrett could knock a Scream remake out of the park. Now that was the easy part. That was a way to modernize it, but not making it so much like Scream 4. Because Scream 4 kind of already did that. But we're going back to the 90s. We're making fun of the 90s, but still making it a little bit more brutal than it was back in the day. And I think that would really work out. I think that those two guys can make a bang, bang up job. They do a bang up job at redoing Scream. But the hard part is continuing the story that flows through Scream 1, Scream 2, and Scream 4 with a Scream 5. What I would do is go with Wes Craven's original idea. I would bring back Kirby. I would make her the main character. I would let the sleeping dogs lie get rid of Nev Campbell, Courtney Cox, and David Arquette. No, no, no. Big no-no! 
I know, guys, I love these characters, but their time is gone. Their time is done. It's time to go to new characters, and I think that's what Scream 4 was originally trying to do. In fact, it was. They were going to do a Scream 5 and 6, with 4 being the first in a new trilogy, but that never happened. I think it's time to move forward, and a fun thing they could do is like bring back a surprise killer, like they were originally going to do in Scream 2 or Scream 3. There were ideas with those two movies that never happened due to huge major production issues. But if you're going to continue that story, you have to bring in a writer that is very good at poking fun of the horror genre without getting too super dark about it because I know that what we were going to do with the remake kept it dark. I think someone like Lee Winnell that has directed a movie like Insidious and wrote the Insidious films can bring that flavor in there that is more comedic and fits with the tone of the first four screen films. I think he could knock it out of the park because he does some straight up really scary sequences without getting too bloody if you want to stick with the original formula. You could also bring in the original composer Marco Beltrami, you could bring in Patrick Lussier to do the editing, you could make Scream 5 flow right from Scream 4. And I think a guy like Lee Winnell could pull that off. He's got the pedigree, he's worked with uh, James Wan since Saw. He's done Death Sentence with uh, James Wan. He did Saw with James Wan. He did uh, Dead Silence with James Wan. The list goes on. The guy's got credit. And of course, he directed one of my favorite Insidious films, Insidious 3. Like I said, I think he could bring in that darkness that we want in a Scream movie that really hasn't been super dark since the first one. I mean, there are some dark scenes in 2 and 3, but nowhere near as dark as 1 and 4. I almost knocked Insidious 3 off the table. But I think Lee Winnell could bring something like what a Joe Dante would have brought to a screen movie, who, in fact, was on the list of directors that they wanted to direct the original screen movie. I believe it was George Romero, Sam Raimi, um, Wes Craven, and Joe Dante. But anyway, guys... I, that's what I would do with Scream. I think a guy like Adam Wingard could bring in some really cool, comedic, dark, bloody, atmospheric things. Atmospheric elements to a Scream movie. We never really got that. We got this awesome score in The Guest. Imagine if we had Scream with a kick-ass score. And I know that Marco Beltrami's work was really well received back in the day but I think that if Scream had a more iconic score even more people would love it. You get the dark comedy which is what I loved about the original Scream with Simon Barrett's writing and of course that brutality from your next. And guys if you want to keep the continuity there if you want to keep everything flowing from one to two to three to four to five like Wes Craven did with one through four bring in Lee Winnell the writer of all four of the Insidious films. It's a no-brainer for me. Ah, okay, guys, so that's what I think we should do with Scream. There's two different directions that we can go with this franchise. You can remake it, or you could bring it back for a Scream 5. And that's just my thoughts, guys. I think there's many different possibilities and ways that you could go about doing a Scream 5 or a remake to Scream. What do you think they should do? Let me know down in the comments down below. Alright guys, that's just my thoughts on what I think Jason Blum and Blumhouse Studios should do with the Scream series. If you're new to the Cavern of Terror and this is your first video from me, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell, that way you get notified about all my future content. And stay tuned guys, because I have my A Nightmare on Elm Street video coming soon and it's going to be a little bit different than things that I've done in the past. Usually when I do a series, I'll go through and review every single one of them, <laughs> like I did with Final Destination, which I still haven't finished yet, got plans. But what I'm going to do with The Nightmare on Elm Street is, after I get done with this video, watch The Nightmare on Elm Street films and do a sort of marathon. I have the day off tomorrow, so I'm going to watch all of these movies. And I'm going to do an in-depth video on the entire series. That includes the remake as well. And we're going to get all my thoughts on the, on the, I almost said screen. All my thoughts on the A Nightmare on Elm Street series. 
plus the remake and maybe Freddy vs. Jason in a complete video for you guys to check out. I think it's going to be really fun to get just all those thoughts together in one video. As always guys, I would appreciate it if you followed me on social media. You can find the links to all those accounts in that motherfucking description box. But most importantly guys, I'm Zach. This has been the Cavern of Terror. Stay metal my friends.